The Rebels with a Vision exhibit is a collection that consists of 76 exceptionally rare historic letters, documents, manuscripts, and books on the founding of the United States. These documents are as good as anything in any museum in the country. Uh, better than in many, in fact. Uh, they're extraordinary American history documents. Uh, and, and when you read these letters and when you look at the way in which they wrote and the things they wrote and the people to whom they wrote, you begin to understand the kinds of difficulties they faced, the issues that were surrounding them, uh, and the, uh, the commercialism in which they dealt. Benjamin Franklin, for example, uh, said printed by Benjamin Franklin on the uh, Pennsylvania note that he did, and his own slogan, to counterfeit is, to de is death. Uh, so these people had strong, strong convictions and lived a very vibrant life, and you can see that in these documents. Under the Articles of Confederation was Arthur St. Clair. He was, he was a president of the United States. The exhibit has been featured at the Carnegie Museum of Pittsburgh, the American Philatelic Museum, the Remax International Convention, the National School Board Association Conference, the MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas, NASA's Classroom of the Future, the 2000 Republican National Convention, and several colleges and universities. I told the Robert Moore story when I was down at the Republican National Convention, and after I was done, I had several women come up to me who were actual guides park rangers and told me I was wrong. That when Robert Morris was in jail, George Washington was president. In fact, they give it in their tours how George Washington at least once a week would come down to Robert Morris' cell and play chess with him as president. And the reason why George Washington didn't pardon him, okay, was because, you know, he didn't feel it was right. And they gave this beautiful quote about why George Washington didn't do it. And I says, you know something, you got a real problem here. And he says, what? I says, you're giving that on tour? And he says, yeah. I says, here's the letter from his jail cell saying he's just been in for a couple months. It's dated 1798. Who was president? John Adams. Here's the bankruptcy note. Three and a half years later, got him out of trial. Who was president? The fact of the matter is, is those are primary sources. And you know what? They changed <laughs> their tour at Independence Hall. The power of the documents is absolute. It doesn't matter where they are or who owns them. They are what they are, and, and they're the real thing. The exhibit is named after its sponsor while on tour and always receives incredible media coverage even in competitive markets like Las Vegas and Philadelphia. It's been a wonderful thing for the library to do this with Stan and with Remax because from my point of view the library is really an educational institution and now this is a place where people can come during this summer and really learn about American history and also find out about all the other things that our library has about American history. All the books and the other documents uh, that we hope that the people will then come and use the library. But this exhibit really brings history to life in a way that we were not able to do otherwise. So we're really thrilled with this exhibit and the partnership. Interested in hosting the U.S. founding or any other of our historical collections at your institution, university, library, public or private event, please call Stanley L. Close, 1-800-YES-KLOS, or email us at sclose at virtualology.com.